Next few years, South Omaha could receive about $100 million in ARPA funds. That money is part of $335 million approved by the legislature to help South and North Omaha and other communities hit hard by the pandemic. And tonight, John Chapman reports on team efforts in South Omaha to make sure funds actually make their way to the South Omaha community. There is a plan to build up the South Omaha business community and to create jobs. Patty's child care is part of that plan. They've been helping families in the community for years. We do have several daycares over in our area, but it's still like uh, we are a bilingual daycare that is looking to help more the community, the Hispanic community over in our areas. Now the child care center wants to shift gears and take care of business owners who work on wheels. They purchased the building that once housed a thrift store near 24th and Q. It's not going to be related to the daycare. It's going to be related to a commercial kitchen that is going to help um, increase and create more jobs, help the community that are working like uh, doing their food trucks, having a place where they're going to be able to produce their their food to sell on those uh, in those in that commercial kitchen. The child care is one of a dozen businesses and nonprofits working together to make sure South Omaha is not left out of the millions of dollars in federal funds that are available. Organizers say all of these groups coming together to work together is an historical moment. The group plans to take an active role in creating opportunities for growth. So historical because we're bringing together many organizations from different sectors, for profit and non-profit, that are working together to make sure that the plan is well coordinated, well supported, that the expertise that each organization brings uh, uh, to the table are well utilized, and ultimately that the trust of the community that we will be working so hard for many decades to gain that we are able to pay back. On your side in South Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. No final decision has been made on who will be awarded the ARPA dollars. Organizers are encouraging people and organizations get in touch with the state legislative representatives and let them know how important the funding is to the South Omaha community.